It is that time of the month again that we are going to be coming out with another Top Funko Pop pick of July 2022. Hey look, I really enjoy making these lists for you and if you enjoy watching these lists as much as I enjoy making this list for you, I need you to do me one favor. I need you to share this, this video on one of your social media accounts. All too often we forget about the power of word of mouth, right, and that we are the biggest marketing group we've ever seen and with your help we can push this channel over to 3,000 subscriber mark and that is the next biggest milestone in this channel so if you just want to watch this video and you just want to do me a favor how about share this video real quick on one of your social media accounts and help me get to that 3,000 marker but without further ado we're going to get right on into this list coming in at number 11 everybody knows that I love to do an honorable mention that is normally not what I consider to be a, a fungal pop or maybe it's not maybe it's not exactly a, a you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying. Coming in at number 11 is going to be the Queen number 30 Funko Pop album. Now, this one is not exclusive to anywhere. It doesn't show that it's exclusive to anywhere. This is the Freddie Mercury. It is a really awesome album album and with the movie that recently came out a couple of years ago and all of the hype that Queen has had this is going to be a pretty cool one to add to your collection however I'm confused about the number 30 and all of the numbers they skipped in between there but but maybe Funko has a plan that I just haven't seen yet I'm sure that they do number 10 this is going to quickly sound like it is a San Diego comic-con list it is however not a San Diego Comic-Con list, but because San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con is falling in this month, it's only right that a lot of the pops from the con are actually going to make it to the list. Number 10 is going to be Jumbo Miss Minutes. Now, this one is a really, really hot pop. It is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive number 1063. So, this one is going to be one of those big 10-inch pops, or you know they don't call them 10-inch pops because they're not actually 10-inch pops. They're more like 8.5 inches, sometimes 6 inches. They're, they're more male measurements than they are female measurements, but that's beside the point. This one came in at number 10 because it doesn't necessarily have that many likes on its social media platforms, but this one is going to be one of them that's better out of the box than in the box, and sometimes for collectors, the, the out of the box is not a reality, so that's why it came all the way in at number 10. Number 9 is going to be a My Hero Academia, also from the San Diego Comic-Con. This one is number 1161, so there's this one's kind of high up into the numbers. I did not, however... Put his name down. <laughs> All right. This one's going to be Grand Torino, if I said that correctly. I'm hoping that I said that one correctly. This one is a pretty hot pop. Now, everything My Hero Academia that's hit an exclusive of some kind of a Comic-Con always went way up in value. So keep your eyes on this one. This one's probably going to spike really high at first and then start to fizzle back down. But keep your eye out on this one. Number eight is is coming from a place that we cannot seem to ever ignore. This one's going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. This one is going to be Scar with the Hyenas. Now, this one is not necessarily like a regular size pop. This is probably what they call the Super Size or the Deluxe is what I think they're calling these style of pops where it has the window all the way around. This one is a really, really awesome pop. And because it's coming from Hot Topic, that gives it extra credit already right off the jump. So make sure that you're keeping your eye out on this one. I don't necessarily know if it'll go way up in value but it's not going to lose value right and as a collector that's always what we want to hear it's not going to go down in value or at least I don't see it going down in value number seven is going to be from the squid games now I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you when I tell you that I know absolutely nothing about the squid games I have not watched the squid games I have not been involved in the squid games I only know about the squid games from other people and word of mouth and hearsay so I know nothing about the Squid Games, but I do, however, know that this one is going to be pretty hot because it is a pretty iconic icon from the movie. This one's going to be an SDC exclusive Young He? No, I'm hoping that I said that right. I Look, if I didn't say that right, you could throw a comment right down below real quick and be like, hey, Wayne, you did not say that right. You slaughtered that one. But I think that it's Young He? No, I, uh, look, 
I said it the best that I could, this number 1257 out of the group. Now, I believe that this one's a jumbo, but if you look on their, their Instagram, they're showing it as a jumbo, but if you go to their, their actual app, they don't show it as a jumbo, so I'm a little confused on if it's a jumbo and if it's not a jumbo. I'm not going to call it either way because I'm afraid that I will just be wrong because that tends to happen more than it doesn't. Coming in at number six is one of them that's going to be super hot. Now, this is going to be one of the first Funko Pop rides that I've seen hit a Comic-Con in a really long time. This is going to be from Batman Returns, the Penguin. He is sitting on this duck that is just, look, this is one of the coolest pops I've seen in a really long time. And this is definitely one of them that I'm going to try and get my hands on coming out of the con. This one's going to be pretty cool. He's number 228. Coming in at number 5 is going to be the first appearance of... Could cart cart. I, I always have a hard time saying this, even though that I know that I shouldn't because I can hear it clearly in my head, but my speech impediment never wants to get this one out clearly, uh, correctly. This one's going to be a Star Wars San Diego Comic Con exclusive, number 548, Kersantin, 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 Kersantin which, is, which is also known as Sandy. This is going to be his first appearance, and there's a lot of people that say that this is just Chewbacca, and you could be absolutely correct. This one could just be Chewbacca, but here's the thing. This is Chewbacca in a different color. He also has different things, like he has his knuckle dusters on, he has his belt on. So to me, this is still a really awesome pop, and the fact that it's a first appearance is why it came in at number five. Now, I don't know how far it's going to climb in value, but because it is its first appearance, it's definitely going to go up. Now, whether that up is $2 or whether that up is $100, I don't know. My, my light bulb and my crystal ball burned out the other day. Marie Laveau passed away. I haven't been able to get a replacement for the crystal ball. But I can tell you that it's going to go up in value. Just don't know by how much. Number four is one of them that only made the list because of the amount of likes that it's managed to get on social media. This is one of the pops that I don't necessarily understand. This is one of them that I look at and I think, mm, I don't know. This one's going to be Marvel Comics Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2099. Now, this is a completely different suit on any Spider-Man that you've ever seen. They have more Spider-Man suits than I think of any other superhero. Now, I could just be speaking nonsense and not knowing what I'm saying, but I have never seen another superhero that has as many costume changes or outfit changes as Spider-Man. Sounds insane to me that they have so many of them, but they do. This one is going to also be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, number 1059. I Look, it has a lot, a lot of social media likes, and that's also going to be true with number three and number two. They both made the list of the amount of likes that they managed to get on different social media platforms. I did all the research so that you didn't have to. Coming in at number three is going to be Demon Slayer. I'm not even going to try and say this name. I'm going to throw it up right here at some point because it's in, 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 I can't say it. I can't say it. So I'm going to throw it up there. It's going to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Number 1058. I know nothing about Demon Slayer. I mean, I know absolutely nothing about Demon Slayer. What I do know is that it it's this this different kind of anime. The characters and every pop that I've ever seen come out of it are this different look. They, they kind of have this different appearance, this different look. They're very unique, and this one is also a very unique looking pop as well. I Look, if, if it holds true to the amount of likes that it's managed to get, it's going to go skyrocketing in value. And I say the same thing holds true for number two. It's going to be the Justice League Starfire. Also, I told you at the beginning that this could quickly turn into a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive list, but it did not because number one is still not going to be from San Diego Comic-Con. This one, number two, is going to be the Justice League Starfire San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, number 438. It has an insane amount of likes across every platform. Just an insane amount of likes. I know nothing about Starfire. I know not a whole lot about the Justice League. I, but I do know that if that if it falls into the path that it's taking right now with the amount of likes that it's gotten, it's going to go way up in price super 
fast. Number one. Number one on this list is one of them that they just recently released. Is also coming from a company company that I don't normally promote just because of the way that they do business. I feel like is to me is a little shady when it comes to collecting Funko Pops. Is going to be from Loki. Now this is Frog of Thunder. This is a Target exclusive number 983. This thing comes in a half jar, and it's also a, a jar t-shirt combo. Now, I don't know if they're going to plan on selling just the, the half jar with the frog inside of it and not the t-shirt, but Target actually has this as a t-shirt jar e combo exclusive. Insane. I think this is one of the coolest pops that I have seen in a really long time. And I think that it's going to jump. Now, once again, like I said earlier, my light bulb and my crystal ball burned out. Marie Laveau passed away. I can't seem to get a replacement for this for this crystal ball. I don't know exactly how far it's going to jump in value. There's so many like determining factors in trying to predict this. Like, for example, gas prices, the economy, how much money people have in their pocket, how hot is the market right now. I know there's a lot of people in every analyst are saying that Funko is super hot right now, but I still believe that it's it's slightly, slightly, just a little over analyzed. Look, that could just be my opinion, which is probably just my opinion. If we're be, if a lot of this is all of this, all of this is is just my opinion. <laughs> hey, look, I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. And before you get out of here, we're supposed to to do the, the whole like you know, make sure you subscribe and you know and and all of that stuff just let me say that i appreciate you coming to hang out with me and i'll catch you next time hey make sure you stick around for those bloopers though i bet this video took me an hour to make <laughs> top funko pop picks of july 2022 These are going to be my top Funko Pop picks of July 2022. These lists are a lot of fun. I mean, I really take time and enjoy making these lists for you. So, so I hope that you enjoy these lists as much as I do. And if you do, check this out. This is I just want you to do me one favor if you enjoy these lists as much as I do. Use the power of... This is going to be another list of my top Funko Pop picks of July 2022. I really enjoy making these lists. And if you enjoy watching these lists as much as I enjoy making these lists for you, I want you to do me one favor. I want you to, to, to tell somebody else about my channel. All too often we have forgotten about the power of... <laughs> I mean, oh my god um here recently i've struggled with takes i used to be able to do these in one take and here recently I, let's let's do it again do it again do it again <laughs> top funko pop picks of july 2022 these are some of my favorite lists to make and that one was horrible Ha, 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 ha.